everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and my studio and another installment of Kathy Makes a Card. I'm Kathy Zilski. If you are new to, well, my channel or you just kind of happened upon this, like maybe you went on YouTube to watch, uh, you know, like techno beat videos, but you, you found me, <laughs> welcome. You might not stick around. Anywho, oh, thank you, Jennifer. Thank you. I, uh, you know, I have a disclaimer that says I may or may not, you know, look that good as I do on my thumbnail, but sometimes I put the makeup on because I got to do other video things. And so that's what we're doing today. Uh, I, I do have my hair clip in case I have, you know, I'm going to try to wear it down for a little bit, but I'm telling you, for those of you who know me from the olden days, the long hair, it's weird. It's weird, but that's neither here nor there. Welcome to my live. I want to show you without too much ado, ado, uh, I want to show you what this all is. And by the way, this is a new shirt. I went to, went to J Jill. I returned a shirt for $79 and got two shirts for $39 total, 50% off, 50% off. Eh? But I'm still not wearing a bra. All right, let's go to the table. Cause you don't have to throw that in. Cause that's what I do. That's what we do here. We work at home and you know, what's the point? Bras, take them or leave them when you're home. So today I, I am super excited because this month, the folks, and <laughs> Jennifer points out that I went to a mall. I did go to a mall and it was, well, it was terrifying. I'm not gonna lie, it was terrifying. Um, but the I will say this, the women who work at J Jill are amazingly kind. Callie, I love Callie person. Um, they're amazingly kind and they always make me feel like I belong there. Does that make sense? Like they make me feel like, hey, you're not too chubby. Come on in here. We're gonna find something to fit you. So, okay. I got some new products from Concord and Ninth. I am very excited. I actually have more than you are seeing here, but I wanted to, I wanted to show you what I'm thinking about today. So first of all, I don't know if you've seen their pattern paper in this Be Mine collection, but this is gorgeous, so fun. A little side story. I teach for Concord and Ninth at the Scrapbook and Cards Today events. I, I've been teaching for Greg and his team for a while, for at least two or three years, and I also teach at Concord events. So it's really cool that I get to do more on my channel. So, uh, and I, I just saw a comment. No, it wasn't Mall of America. Oh no, I did go to Mall of America. Dang it. Yesterday I went to the Mall of Rosedale. Um, but yeah, I did go to the Mall of America and uh, I literally had to go sit in my car because Dan was shopping. He loves to shop. God love him. Uh, not my thing. So anyway, so Concord and Ninth, I love working with them. I love teaching for them. And now I have some new products and I'm geeked. Okay, I'm going to use today the Love Lines Turnabout set. Now here's the thing, I didn't realize this. There's a new jig. I don't have the new jig. It's a, um, it's called the all, the something. Someone can pop it in there. It's the all in one or something. It's very cool because it's sticky, um, but I have the old jig. So I'm gonna be using that and I'm going to, what's cool about this jig is you can do the outer image, the inner image or all of it together. I think I'm going to do just the inner, okay? This, look at this. This is so stinking cute. Now I think it's sold out at Concord and Ninth, but I think it's, mm, oh, thank you, Jennifer. I, I literally asked Greg to send me a new jig because Greg and I are uh, working together uh, again for the upcoming Scrapbook and Cards Today event. I'm teaching for Concord. Oh, the products are fun. You're gonna love them. For those who are taking the class. Anywho. <laughs> Vicki Donnelly, indeed. So these cute little hearts, I mean, who doesn't love baby hearts? Okay, we could talk all day about the cuteness, but we gotta get we gotta get out of the business. So here's what I've got today. And I am hoping that my ink pads are good to go. If not, I have some re-inkers. I just haven't used them in a while. And well, you know, well, that's gonna happen. So I'm going to set this aside for now because I'm not I'm not sure how this is going to factor in. Because you know my goal with my lives is to actually make a card, right? Not, and we we don't know if that's going to happen. I mean, sometimes it happens. Most of the time it happens, and sometimes you know they might not even be my favorite cards that I've ever made. But you know, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna give it the old college try. Now, see my head's I don't want my head there. Well, it's fine. Okay. 
Kathy, breathe, breathe. Oh, Barbara, so the class has long since sold out. Um, yeah, it, 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 so we, it went on sale, I want to say, in November. So it's a good idea to uh, subscribe to, um, what is it called? Scrapbook and Cards Today. In fact, if you don't know about Scrapbook and Cards Today, we are a magazine. We are a print magazine um, going into the 16th or 17th year crazy that it's been around this long and we put on events and when the pandemic kind of kicked in we uh we went ahead and started online we did virtual and it has turned out that virtual has been a really popular way to go it is for me because i don't really like to travel so i don't have to go i can teach without a bra it's a win-win okay so I've got my little placement jig, this friend and this friend. This is, you gotta, I gotta take my time here because it has been a while since I have used these. Now I used a turnabout once in a class and they re it really is magic how everything comes together. In fact, speaking of, uh, how many of you have ever worked with turnabout, with the turnabouts? They're very fun. Now let me see if I can do this the way it has to be done. I am going to line up this. Wait, do you go that way? Yes, you no. Yep. Yep, dip. Nope. <laughs> see, this is there we go. There we go. This is the thing. When you are doing something live and you haven't done it in a while, I hope this makes you feel better about all of your crafty foibles, because I am the queen of the foie bell. All right, what you do is you line it up on the piece, the, the alignment tool. I think that's what it's called. You line it up on here. Now, I am not gonna use the full thing because I'm just gonna make a little circle. So I'm gonna set this aside and, excuse me, my nose, my nose always starts running when I'm live. It actually reminds me of back in the day when I was a, uh, a long story. When I was a competitive competitive figure skater, uh, my nose always ran when I competed. Nerves, nerves. That's what happens. My nose runs. All right. Now I, well, I mean, I guess I could leave this in for now. It doesn't really matter. I, I want to be able to see what I'm doing. So to use one of these tools, you kind of need to have uh, the larger Misty. Um, I think you can do it without, but I, I, you know, it, this is this is the way I roll and. Uh, so that's, that's how we're gonna go. But it's gonna take me a second here because what I need to remember is this. All right, see the X here? So the new jigs are self-adhesive, well, they're sticky mats, so you don't have to use any, uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, glue, repositionable adhesive, okay? I just, I just saw someone said that Kathy is a human. The secret is out. Okay, so what you're gonna do if you have the old jig or if you have the new one is you, you're gonna line up this X onto the X's that are here, right? You can see that. And as soon as you get it in place, well, tell me if I'm doing this right. As soon as we get this in place, and, and my jig is pressed right into this whatever corner. Takes me a minute, there we go. There we go, I hope I'm doing this right. I'm gonna magnet that down and I'm going to pick up, I think that looks pretty lined up. I'm gonna pick up my stamps, okay? Oh. There you go, Catherine. You know, it's like performance anxiety. I think that's what it is. Now, here's the beautiful thing. I am, well, I'm still gonna leave this on for a second because I wanna show you this. So I've got a piece of cardstock. Hey, C9, did I do it? Is that you, Greg? <laughs> Thank you for being, now I feel nervous, now I'm like, don't screw it up, Kathy. C9's in the house. They're never going to send you another thing again. I kid because I love. All right. Uh, and again, the old school jig. You know what I'm saying? Okay. This piece of cardstock is four and a quarter by five and a half. Now, what I want to do, and where did it go? Oh, come on. Here we go. Uh, repositionable adhesive is what you need for something like this. Now, true story. Uh, Concord actually sent me this. And uh, all you're going to do... Just put a little down, you know, this will this will rub right off. And then we are going to put 
our cardstock right in with those crop marks. See how cool that is? Like that. Okay. And we're going to press. All right. Now, I'm going to take this out because I don't think I need it. And actually, I gotta, I have to tell you, I'm so glad that I did have an extra jig. And I had the jig from, from a summer camp that I had, had taught at. So feeling good about that. And uh, all right. So here's what we're going to do. We're, we're going to take this off. Okay. And now our stamp is in the right place. Oh, hey, <laughs> Lindsay. Hey, Lindsay. There's still pressure. Are you kidding? There's more pressure. No. Lindsay from C9 is awesome. We work with her whenever we're doing classes and it's, well, it's a pleasure, Lindsay. So thank you for being here. Okay, I'm prepping this a little, you know, just kind of rubbing over it because I have not used it before. And, you know, I think that's gonna be fine. There's always a little coating and residue and well, you, know, you, you kind of wanna, you wanna do your best to get a good impression. Stamps like this, they really do get better and better over time. So no worries. Uh, yeah, the hair's starting to, you know what? Take a look at that ink real quick. This has got to go, because if I'm starting to think about hair in my face, I'm telling you, I saw someone, I don't know, it was on this feed that I saw somewhere with people complaining about live streams. It said, when people start fixing their hair on camera, Bada bing. Okay, I just it just channeled my inner Laura Basson. Let's start with our first color. At this rate, with all my talking, <laughs> nothing's gonna happen. I'm not uh yeah, I'm not gonna actually get anything done. But here's what we're gonna do. We're starting with our first color, and you're inking it up like this. Okay, this is a very pale color, but I really did want to start out with this. I have my little stamp press tool, okay. And I'm going to make sure, make sure I am, oh wait, no, I gotta turn it. I gotta, no wait, I am right, right? Does it go one? <laughs> Lindsay, am I in the right position? I am, right? You start here with the one, don't you? Hey, Amy, Amy, Amy R. I just wanna make sure that that is where it needs to be. I think that it does. I think it does. Why pressure doing, yeah, you know what? This is, uh, okay, I think we're good because they have little numbers. So then you're gonna turn it and start with one. Okay, here we go. Coming. I love, I love that Concord and Ninth is here. They're like, start with number one. Jennifer McGuire, just stamp. Okay, lift and look at that beautiful pink, soft pinkness. Now, I'm actually gonna do another light tap, right? And I do like these Concord pads. They have the raised foam pads and they're really lovely. I mean, look at the package. Ugh, love it. Okay. Again, make sure I'm in the right place and gentle, gentle. Oh, I guess you don't need to, but now I am going to take this friend. You know, this, this reminds me of when, uh, I don't know what it was with Jennifer McGuire and Christina. One of you were helping the other foil. What was that? And Jennifer just sat back and kind of did her thing. And anyway, okay, make sure that's dry though, right? You don't want it to be, you know, kind of crazy. Now I'm just gonna rotate it one turn like that, okay? Right? I think that's what I do. It's on the jig, I've turned it. Now I'm gonna move into another color. I'm just, I'm just coloring random. Okay, I'm gonna go with honeysuckle. And here's the thing that's so crazy about this. Like, I I can't wrap my head around how the C9 team comes up with these. Like, just does not, does not compute. Does not compute. Okay, in the corner, coming down. And where's my, oh, there we go. It's just smart design. Smart sorcery. Well, thank you, Amanda Roche. Appreciate that. Now, this color is such a beautiful firecracker of a color. I don't, I don't need to stamp that again. Love it. <sighs> yes, Carla, it is magical. Reminds me of an old song I liked. 
Well, I, I can't think of this. Do you believe in magic? What? Who, who sang that one? In a younger or ain't something. All right, we're, we're flipping again. One more turn to the right. Okay. And this time, again, I'm just using the skin on my forearm. Oh, question. Can you get the placement for jigs for the older turnabout stamps? Now, Kathleen, that is a question that maybe C9 can answer because I am not 100% sure. I don't know. I don't know. Was it Sean Cassidy? Oh, okay. I don't know, Kathleen. That is a good question. Um, and hopefully if Lindsay sees that, she might be able to answer. All right, moving on. We have rotated once and we're going with 11 spoonful. See, I feel like it was, uh, yeah, I feel like it was older than Sean Cassidy. Not that Sean Cassidy wasn't uh, old in, in my, I mean, I loved Sean Cassidy. It shows you how old I am. Now, Press and stamp. See, <laughs> I'm never gonna get, there's never gonna be a card. Oh, thank you for responding, uh, Lindsay, that's great. Lift, oh, that is so cute. There is, there's a cool thing I think about Concord and Ninth Inks and having worked with them in so many classes now, um, it's almost like you can't go wrong with this collection of colors. They mix and match so well together and that's a testament to smart design and choosing really great colors. Okay, love and spoonful. That does not surprise me. Uh, not that I'm, you know, a big <laughs> love and spoonful, uh, you know, yeah. mind as it were. All right. See how it's starting to come together? Oh, I love it. I love this. Okay. Again, your stamp stays in the same place. Hey, Mindy's here too. And then the last one. We rotate, just like that. Oh, here's the thing. I don't know. I don't know why I don't do this more often. Like I don't know why I don't jig it up more because it's really cool to see something come together, and you know whatever colors you switch out and swap, you're gonna have something that is like totally, you know, totally new and different. And anyway, grapefruit. Now, grape, my grapefruit, oh, that might be my small pad. This will be great. My small pad is a little dry. I, oh, no, this one isn't at all. Wonderful. And coming down, and it fits in like a puzzle. Oh, I had a crush on uh, David Cassidy. Holy, I tell you what. I, and Yeah, some of us out there were Danny Bonaducci fans. Not me. No one was a fan of Danny Bonaducci. David Cassidy, all the way. I don't think I'm gonna stamp that again because I like the softness. Hey, Ralph. Ralph, is it Tyndall or Tyndall? Ralph, I love your reels and TikToks if you have not seen them. And you like crafting plus ASMR, you gots to check it out. Okay, now look at that. Isn't that fun? That's it, I just made a ball of cuteness, right, that all comes together. Now, if I had used the whole thing, right, I would have, you know, had uh, the whole panel, but that's not what I wanted to do today. So I'm gonna undo this, okay? And then I'm going to find my adhesive eraser. Although you wouldn't even, well, well, let's see. I'm gonna take this off first. It, it comes off pretty well. Um, but you can also, with an adhesive eraser, or with a, repositionable, you literally can just rub it. You don't even need an adhesive eraser. That's hard to say three times fast. Ah, Kia Ora to you, Neroli Soul. How's, how's Neil Finn doing down there? I, I get his newsletter and uh, every time I see that Crowded House is one of my favorite bands, every time I see they're on tour somewhere other than the United States, I, well, I just feel sad, but okay. That looks good. I'm just going to put that in place and just rub that too. It See, it just comes right off with the finger. Okay. Yep. Easy peasy. Breezy. Squeezy. All right. So now I have this super cute little pa panel. Now, here's what I want to do. I think this is clean. And I'm going to get a greeting off this set. Because initially I had a different idea, but I think, and it depends on timing. You know what always, I will say, what amazes me 
is how Jeannie K does multiple cards in an hour. Because most of the time I'm like, if I can see straight for an hour and emerge with something that's complete, um, I, I feel like it's almost miraculous. Okay, um, putting it right back in for now. Let me grab, oh, I, I can show you this. This is so cool. Let me grab something. Now this is where I feel it is so helpful. I have a few cardstock swatch rings and I love them because when it's time to pick something for a greeting, I just pull out my cardstock. I pull out my swatch rings and these are all my Concord and Ninth inks. And I feel like I'm probably going to make my little banner in honeysuckle cause it's super cute, but, but you know what? I could also go, I mean, I could do ballet slippers, although that would be a little neutral. Hmm. If you don't have a little swatch ring, um, it's a great idea to make one. In fact, uh, Emma, if you remind me, I'll pop in my video. I think the video that I have is literally me making this swatch ring. But I think I'm going to grab a little honeysuckle cardstock from my stash. Let's see here. All right. Honeysuckle, honeysuckle. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, cardstock, and see, in the new studio, which is awesome, everything is kind of at my fingertips, but not, uh, not completely, um, because, because I have to kind of get up and move around, which on a live stream, yeah, it's not the end of the world, right? <laughs> Except when you're... I don't have a huge desk space, so let's just cut myself and actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead. Is my head in the way? Oh, look, I've always wanted to have my head in the way, just like Gina K. Look at me. Okay. And I'm just going to cut a scrap of that and set that aside. Okay. And I'm also going to set this aside. Now, come back in here. And I'm going to make myself a little greeting. So let's move you out. Oh, so cute. Bring you in. Now, um, you know, I think the Misty is kind of a genius tool. Um, oh, I have, I, I'll tell you why in a minute. Uh, Leanna, I love this white mat. I, I don't know why. It's not bright white. And in a way, for what I do, look at how the contrast of my white cardstock to the mat, it works really well for me. I also just like that I can see on it so well, like if I'm ink blending or painting, um, I will never go back to any other surface. It has been fan freaking tastic But Misty, if you are only going to get one, let's say you're sitting on the fence and you're like, I, I don't want to spend the money spend the money on the bigger one <laughs> because because there's nothing more frustrating than having the mini and maybe you don't know how to use it for all the techniques but like for Gina K designs and her uh what is it called the uh it you know what I'm talking about the wreath builder and for things like this it's just so nice to have the larger size okay because then you can you know you can just do all your stamping okay so let's move you so I don't muck it up. And I'm going to grab one of these greetings, which is legitimately my favorite. And it is this, I love that I know you. I think that's brilliant. Like whenever I see a greeting and I think, I wish I would have put that on a stamp set. <laughs> that's totally that greeting. Um, I absolutely love it. Uh, yeah, 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 it's so good. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna stamp this. And actually, I might stamp it twice just to get the best possible, you know me, I like to have a backup. I like to have a goose to my maverick. I don't, I, I'm just gonna tell you, I don't even like Tom Cruise. I don't, I don't, I have some issues. He's one of the few actors whose movies I have actually walked out of. A long story. I, I have my issues with Tom Cruise. Um, however, I thought he was brilliant in Magnolia. Anyone? Magnolia? Okay. 
Let's take our anti-static powder like that. We're just we're powdering it up, powdering it up. Jennifer, see, I knew, I knew I liked you for more reasons than card making. Um, okay, I'm gonna our Versamark pad. Okay. Um, well, I had a real problem with his performance in, uh, what was it called? Um, uh, the one with Dustin Hoffman. I didn't like him in that. I didn't like him in Born on the 4th of July. I just, but I don't like Oliver Stone. Now I'm getting real carried away with the random. I just don't like directors that force feed you their opinions. I like directors who let you think for yourself. That is not Oliver Stone. Okay. And today on Siskel and Ebert, oh, I tell you, I have way too much uh, useless information. All right, bring it in my press tool and we're just gonna let that transfer. Oh yes, and Jennifer McGuire, that's another really big one is not believing that mental health challenges are real. That's not okay, <laughs> it's not okay. I have dear friends who struggle and, uh, and I myself, I am medicated in a good way. And there, it's a positive thing, all of it. When you have anxiety, when you have something. And so, yeah, I have, I have issues with people who don't believe in taking care of mental health because it's important. And we need to destigmatize it too, because, yeah. Uh, Ralph wants to know, this is a 18 by 24 mat. It's that, the one that has 18. So, Whatever one that is, that's the one I have. So it kind of gives me enough surface to work on. Hey, Mira, Mira's here. Hey, I just saw your name pop up. Um, I don't always keep focused on comments, so there you go. Um, but uh, yeah, this mat has been great. I mean, it's perfect to film, right? It gives me, an, and, it, and if you're just using it for crafting, it's going to give you a lot of surface area. Now, if you if you need that surface area, great. You may not, right? Um, but I love, I love it. I love it. And, oh, and I have a code now. I have a code. If you want a glass mat, you want to save 20%, just put CZ Design 20 at checkout. I literally have that linked and listed. Well, I have it listed. Oh, and how's our little girl, Mira? Haven't, haven't seen your name in a while. Okay, I'm going to move this. Now. Let's see, where's my paper catch? All right. And yes, if you're just joining, hey, you know what? It's, oh, it's only 3.30. This is great. This is good because I can actually, if I finish this, um, I, I'm going to uh, show you some fun stuff. Oh, okay, Def Shell Team Mom. So true story, you know, what's that movie? A Few Good Men? Demi Moore's in it, right? I heard that, I read this somewhere, it was probably in the IMDB, and this is not to impugn height-challenged folks, but they had to dig a trench to make her look shorter because, you know, God forbid a woman should ever be taller than a man. I mean, that, you know, and I have a problem with that. It's like, you know what, Hollywood, wake up. People are all different heights and they're fine. Okay, that those both look good. I got two winners here. Okay, we got a winner. <laughs> All right, yes, Rain Man. That was one that I, I just, I didn't like how mean his character was. And you know, that's just what it, that's what it is. Okay, wait, Jennifer left, but Lila came in. <laughs> Aria, yes, oh gosh. All right, I'm gonna zoom in a little here with my new slow telephoto. Ooh, isn't that cool? I mean, you can, I mean, I can get so much closer. Oh, okay. And yes, thank you, Jennifer, for stopping by. She's she's a good egg, that one. Okay, I am going to melt the powder. I have my new WOW tool, and I've been enjoying this. I like this tool. It's a little louder than the Wagner, but my Wagner has a crack, and I was getting a little nervous about using it. And anyway, here we go. Gotta let it warm up. Is it smoking again? Oh my gosh, okay. All right, here we go. Okay. 
Those look fantastic. Oh my goodness, crisp, crisp, crisp. Now remember those of you who, um, if you ever have powder all over the place and you're like, I hate embossing, embossing is the worst. You have to powder up that paper because embossing powder wants to stick wherever there's static, wherever there's oil. Try a form of embossing anti-static powder and it will change the way it works. Well, mostly, I can't guarantee that 100% because you can't always back up what I'm doing, but well, there you go. All right, I am going to grab, and let's come out here a little bit. I'm going to grab the dies, all right? Oh, actually, Susan, good point. I loved Jerry Maguire. I did love Jerry Maguire. That's one of the movies, uh, that's one of the exceptions. And I have seen Jerry Maguire more times than I would like to admit. And that is where Tom, that and Magnolia. I don't know if anybody said they liked Magnolia. It's a weird movie, but oh, do, do I love that movie. Okay, let's take these out. Now, I do think this is an amazing set. And initially, and I may still have time, but I may not. Um, I was super drawn to Love, Love, Love You. I think that is so cute. I think the typography style is just so great. But I am going to do, well, I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this out with one of these. And I love that it can be doubled. That is kind of cool. So let's take these off. Also, another cool thing about, uh, Tail or Concord and Ninth is getting dies detabbed. It is really nice. It's nice to have that. Um, let me get my plates out. Oh, where are you? I feel you. There we go. And let's get my that. Okay. Um, we're going to pop this on because I think. Do I want to do a single and then layer it? I do. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Okay. So I am going to try my best to center this. I know it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, there, that looks good. Hold it in place. And this tape is probably my favorite for this type of thing because it just doesn't tear your paper. It just doesn't tear your paper. Um, and I love that. Now I'm gonna have to find another scrap. Does that look good? Let me see. Yeah, I well, did I really frame? It's so interesting how when you're not standing up over the top. Hold on, we're gonna stand up over the top. I it's it's an optical illusion if I look on camera. So let's try this again. It's gonna, I'm gonna do it down here a little low. <laughs> Live crafting, you know. What are you gonna do? That looks good. Hold it and. There, I think that's better. Okay, sit down. Oh, guess what? It's time for die cut cam. <laughs> it's really not that exciting, but here we go. Rotate. Oh, look, there's my hairbrush. That's exciting. Get out of there. Oh my gosh. There's so much hair in my brush. It's crazy. Okay, we now have layer one. For, oh, look at that. Isn't that cute? Okay, let's get this friend because we need to do some other things here. Now, I think I am going to get some ballet slippers. Okay, let me grab a piece of that. Come here now. There we go. Ballet slipper. Yes, no. Okay. Okay. I need to cut a little piece of this, so hold tight. All right. Okay, because I'm gonna take the larger one and cut out a little layer, okay? Okay. Pop you here and Back to die cut cam. And what I usually do with this plate sandwich is I will flip it every time. Okay. 
and Jennifer's not here to give all the love to, but I learned about this sandwich from her and it is, it has changed the way I die cut because it works so well. You always cut into one green plate and a clear plate. Okay. And this one always stays, well, it's, it's not supposed to have that. So pretend that didn't happen. This gets no cutting, right? And look at how straight these stay. I've had the same clear plates for weeks on end. Weeks, I kid you not. Um, this method has been amazing. Speaking of amazing, let's get you over there. Also, it always looks like, well, like, like a tornado came through here when I'm done, but that's okay. That's what we're doing. I need some more dyes, so hold on. I want to trim this down a little bit because I love this look, but I want to pop it onto a note card of color that is similar, but I want to make sure that my plan here isn't getting carried away. Yeah, it's getting carried away. I'm going to go up one. It's getting carried away. <laughs> Shauna, I, uh, I'm just going to say it. I tried the magic mat. I did not have any success with it. And true story, I'll show you. I literally, I use this as a mouse pad. I use it as a mouse pad. It, every time I used it, it warped and bent and I had to heat it up. And I just thought, I don't think that's how it's supposed to be. Uh, and I got frustrated. So I just stopped uh, trying. But this one has been great. All right, let's cut this out. And let's see here. I'm going to take this out of the way right now. Um, because we are going to layer that, but let's get a nice little crop where we're just going to have this, you know, basically centered. That looks pretty good, right? Bye Callie. So nice to see your lovely face. Love that girl. Yeah. I just, I didn't have any luck with it now. And again, I, I used it on my Gemini and yeah, you know, the, here's the thing too, though. And this is something that I've learned, and that is everyone's machine can be slightly different than others. And so if you have a different result that someone else does, you know, as long as it works for you, everything's golden, you know? All right. You know, maybe I should give it another try. Maybe I should while I'm up here. <laughs> Maybe it was the dining room. It just was a bad, had some bad mojo or juju or something in there. I don't know. Okay, now I have my panel and I think this is quite lovely. Okay, I do have an idea though. Let me move my tape. <laughs> so many things. Uh, Mindy, I love them. I love them. I mean, you can't see any reflections. They take up so much less space than umbrella lights. I mean, and this looks fine. You know what I mean? It's like, is it the best lighting in the world? Well, it's not bad. Let me grab some foam tape. Okay. I think I'm going to do this first because, um, oh, well, if there's new magic mats, I mean, maybe, you know what I mean? Maybe I should try that. So I have really been, and I may have completely converted over to this Alta New tape, this foam tape. Um, I, I don't know this for a fact, but I think it might be cheaper than the 3M tape, which, you know, it's like, and, and I know fun foam is cheaper, but I just, I love this. <laughs> and you know, it's my joy. I, I don't have any shoes of note, but I, I have the foam tape that I want and that's how I celebrate me. Uh, you know, I, I love, I love foam tape. I loved foam tape though. Like I loved foam tape when I was a scrapbooker, like foam tape was legit my jam. Now, now here's the thing. No, I do want it centered. Okay. I am going to pop this up too. So here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to cut a little piece. Oh, how funny. I didn't think I was going to use my big scissors and I had to use the big scissors. I tell you, I took them out of my supply list in order to fit everything into my supply list. And I thought, oh, I won't use these. I use these all the time. I have to hide them from people in my family because I think people know how great they are. 
they're great. Uh, I think, should I just glue the, I, I should have done that first. I kind of want this to have dimension too though, but I don't want it to have as much. So check this out. I am going to get some of my thin foam squares from Simon Says Stamp. And let's get my, oh, I gotta show you this. Cause this, Carla, look what I have. I think you're out there. Uh, this is a little pokey tool that my, my friend Carla out there sent me and it's all beaded and beautiful. And Emma, if you remind me, I will list the woman who makes them. Um, I, she doesn't have an Etsy shop, but she does have contact info. It's cute, right? It's, and it has a little friend on it here. Um, so you don't poke yourself. It's not, it's not overly sharp, but I'm gonna set that down because what I like to do is I like to use a pokey tool for doing this. Isn't that pretty? I know, it's so cute. It's just beads. It's actually just beads and it's super pretty. And Carla had sent it to me and it was sitting in my P.O. box for the longest time. And it actually kind of matches my project. Is it just me? I mean, I, I love my Gina K tool because, oh, Gloria, there you go, Carla. It's it, made by Gloria. I mean, it's just, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay, move you out of the way and put my pokey tool back. And again, I, um, there will be contact info, Catherine. I've got the card downstairs that Gloria included and I will list it. It's, it's not like you can go to a shop, but I think you can contact her. See, this, this is why I can't do um, multiple cards. Cause look at it, it takes me for, it just takes me forever just to get going, but, but it's gonna be good. We're gonna be good. And one of the things I love about Concord and Ninth Design is I feel like it's it kind of speaks to my aesthetic. Like they just make it so if you want to do something simple, it's gonna look great. Like you can get as involved as you want, and it just yeah, it just gives me gives me joy. I'm not gonna lie. All right, come on over here, and I am gonna use liquid glue for this process so that we have wiggle room. I just thought it would look cool to have it be sort of tiered, have this little greeting be tiered, and it just adds a little bit more. So if we put our dot of connect glue, and this is connect glue from Gina K Designs, and these are her little squeeze bottles, which I I love, I love these. And speaking of, these are, uh, I think these are from Gloria too. Uh, the beads just fell off, the, well, I clipped the beads off because she makes glue bottle toppers as well. And it's basically like a corsage pin with a bead on it, but they work great. Okay. Now, okay, I'm gonna get in close here. Where's my head? I have to look up. Um, do you ever have where you, I feel like I wanna, I know this is, this might seem like overkill, but here's the thing. When things slip, I can't put them down, but I don't wanna put this on the card yet. Oh, maybe I'll have to. Well, wish me luck. <laughs> see come here oh this just feels awkward there we go okay she's going in is she going to make the landing we're going to come in a little closer and we're going to line it up and we're gonna oh my gosh can't do it get down there there we go there we go release and wiggle that cool so now we have a little bit of shadow right oh that is so cute okay here's the question though for the people in card land i got a question all right i am obsessed with this this is it's so fun see i love i love simplicity i love simplicity um, yes, Leanne, that's the thin foam that I popped it up with. It's the thin foam square. So Simon Says Stamp has foam squares now. One of them is a thicker loft and the other one is a thinner loft. And so that way you can get different uh, dimensions. Yes, Kathy did stick. Oh, she hasn't completely stuck the landing. But here's the question. Before we, before we stick a landing, do we like keeping it all? Oh my goodness gracious. 
that one, I'm telling you, there's something about a white note card. Okay, so there's that. That's option number one. Or, oh, thank you, Joan. I love it. <laughs> Not everyone thinks I'm fun. But as I said on Instagram the other day, you can't be for everyone. You cannot be for everyone. If you are, white is beautiful. But let's see. What would it look like here? Now, oh. Mm. I feel like the white is just... It, it's just cleaner, brighter, and fresher, and more minimal. Now, I love this cardstock. I love Honeysuckle. I've used it in classes that I've taught. Now, Mindy goes with the colored ones. Oh, no. I hate it when it starts out with people saying white, and then they come in with the color. Mmm. Well, um, let me, let me, let me check for ballet slippers. Yes, I do. Oh my gosh, you guys. All right, let's zoom out a little. There we go. There we go. All right, we're gonna we're gonna bring in a little ballet slippers. Now let's go up in order. Hey Margaret, nice to have you here. You're you're in the future. I love when people visit. Oh, does that polish match the ballet slippers? Gosh, that looks good. Sorry, get back on track, Kath. Okay, let's come over here. Oh. I mean, here's the thing, it, you can't go wrong. Ah, you can't go wrong. The honeysuckle does tie it together. And you know, I actually, I actually think I love the ballet slippers because it matches the polish, but we're not gonna, we're not, it's a little, yeah, we're gonna go. It's a little, it's sweet, it's sweet. But here, you know, again, I'm just gonna let you see that or white. Now, if it were me and you weren't here in the office with me, I would probably go with the white, but I think I'm going to buck my own tradition and I'm going to go with the honeysuckle. Wait, I have um, I have sound effects somewhere in my live stream. I was going to hit like a, a horn, but I don't know where the window went. Okay. Let's grab. And it was... I'll tell you what 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 made me change my mind. I did see someone in the chat and it already went by say it ties it together. And here's here's a beautiful example of design in action. When you can link things in threes, it's great. And yeah, Aqua Sky would be pretty too. Um, but here we have honeysuckle used once, honeysuckle used twice, honeysuckle used three times. It really links it together. Um, that's why ballet slippers would have been a good choice too. But when you have any way you can link something visually uh, multiple times, but especially in threes, it's going to give you a really nice uh, unified feel. So let's take our sheet of 11 inches by four and a quarter and score it at five and a half. Okay. I love this. This is, um, yeah, this is really nice. I'm happy with how this turned out. Yep, same thing with ballet slippers. It will, uh, it would have given that same. Now, C9 cardstock is a little lighter uh, than my 100 pound base, but I'm still gonna take that. See, I had that on my wrist for a reason. I'm just gonna pop it in like that. Okay. I love it. I love it. It's coming together. Let's come in a little. And I'm gonna get you out. Yeah, I don't know the GSM. Um, I don't, but I think I want to say that this cardstock is a hundred pound. I think hundred pound, or, or maybe it's eighty pound cover. I should know. <sighs> I should know, and I don't. Okay. Now, uh, here's another little thing I do sometimes. I well, uh, mm, I know I have somewhere in my space some <laughs> grip mat, but I'm just going to put a little piece of tape on here because I don't want this. It's eighty pound. Thank you, Professor. Thank you, Professor Cardmaker. It's 80 pound cover, um, which is going to be lighter. And it, what's nice is it, it's, it makes for a really nice card base, but it kind of makes it all purpose and you can use it for lots of different things. So let's take off the backers. Hey, I think I am gonna finish this in one hour, but I will show you the rest of the stuff that I have. I have, life is good. Life is good. <laughs> My crafty life is pretty good. 
um, little, little thing. I'm going to take a little of my liquid glue and just do a ribbon. I do this so that if it doesn't stick right away, right? I, I, I miss so many comments. I wish that I, uh, I wish I just had someone who just read them out loud because I think that would be pretty rad. Okay, I don't think it matters. Up, oh, actually, well, I'm gonna go in this where there's more honeysuckle and I'm gonna stand up. Look at that beautiful margin of space. There's my head, it's okay. It's okay, head. Oh. Mm. A framing margin, I tell you what, that is a thing. That is a thing. It is the thing, I love it. Okay, and we're not, we're not completely done because I am gonna put some bling. Now I know there's some really cute um, things from Concord and Ninth as well. I saw some really cute sequins. I don't have those, but I do have, I have sequins and I am not afraid to use them. You know, I probably could have cut one more, made it a little wider, but I think we're gonna be fine. Again, the liquid glue, the crowd roars. The liquid glue is so that I have a uh, hydroplane time, float time, right? So that it can just wiggle a bit, but also my little ruler, love this so much, love it. Hey, we've got 470 people here. That's really great. Now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put it right in the center to the best of our ability. We're gonna split that difference side to side. I think that looks really good. Dropping, dropping it like it's hot, bringing this in, pressing it in, and that way I know that I am straight on the card. Oh. Hey, Kelly Dubeck, you keep giving me super chats every week. You need to stop. That's way too kind. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm so glad I looked up. Thank you so much. I tell you. Oh, it's just, I feel, it's so simple. And I actually feel like this looks just like something on their website. And I'm, I'm sure that's, I was completely inspired because that's what made me think of the circle. Um, but again, what's kind of cool is, you know, anytime you change up the colors, um, you're going to have a different looking card. Because, yeah, I was, I was looking, I was adding the links today, and I'm like, I want to do that. I think it's basically that. I don't know if they popped up their banner, but, you know. And now we're going to just take a few sequins and pop some on for a little shine. Um, not 100% sure yet how I want to do this. But I like to have, you know, some big, actually, what if I just put some on the little, no, I don't wanna, I don't wanna cover them up too much. And I kind of only wanna have, well, I guess I could have three at the top and three at the bottom. I don't know if I want a big one. I don't think I do. You know what I like to say, don't overthink the boop, because if you overthink the boop, you're gonna have, you, what is it called when you're frozen in the boop? I'm trying to be way more clever. I'm trying to cash clever check that my body can't write today. Sorry about that, friends. All right, get in there. Oh, thank you so much, Barbara Fender. Thank you for the super chat. Love that. That is very kind. Okay, I don't, I'm not making this part look good. I want it to look really good because I feel like this is where you don't want to mess it up. You want it to be, you know, after all that work but I want it to go whoop, like that, you know what I mean? Whoop, whoop, yeah. And of course it helps if you make the sound effect. <laughs> Everybody knows that, but this one actually, maybe I could use a bigger one. I love to mix the sizes. Well, see, I could do that too. Yeah, cause then we're having, we already have one straight. That's a really good point. Let me just see, let me see. Oh yeah, 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 I kinda like that. Kind of like that. So we're gonna do this little bit of uh, reflected symmetry. Whoop, whoop. But I think maybe that, that, yeah. <laughs> the, fa the fact that it can take me 15 minutes to figure out how to do my sequins. Bonnie, thank you so much. I'm, just, I'm gonna just stay live for hours on end. 
because <laughs> now I can go buy another shirt at J. Jill. Oh, you guys are the best. Thank you so much. Okay, we are ready. We are ready to achieve boopdom, shall we? Yes, Emma's explaining a super chat. It's just a, it's a kind, it's like a tip jar. It's like a virtual tip jar. And it's, it's not expected, but it's, I, you know, we, 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 CZ Design and Company, which is basically me and my candles, we appreciate it. We appreciate it. Also, just so you know, and again, I know that lives aren't everybody's cup of tea, but just by watching my channel, you help my channel. If you like my video and subscribe, that helps my business so much. And I'm grateful, very grateful for all my subscribers, people who leave comments. And I read my comments boop, every morning, every morning. After a live, I'm usually so toasted I can't even function. Thank you, Amy. You're very good. That coming from you, Amy. That's that's a hot that's a hot praise, girl. Um, but every morning I get up and I, I read comments and I answer all of them. And I block people that are mean. <laughs> There's not a lot, but there are some. And they just, you know, they go into the block bin. And we don't talk about them. We don't talk about the meanies, right? Boop. Sorry. Thank you, Gloria. Linda, you guys are handling it for me. Gina. Uh, boop. And the last one, and I, um, boop. That is the finished card project. Okay. I definitely want to do some form of merch that is basically, you know, nice typography, the word boop, a few other things, you know, something fun. I just haven't had time. And, uh, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm a little frazzled, but it's all good. So this is our finished card. I mean, this is just like one simple design. I love this so much. It's so simple. And it really does look like the one they have on the website, but I, I love the colors. They look great together. Now I do want to show you a few more things. Okay. I don't have time to make another card, but check it out. Check it out. Let's come wide here. All right. And I'm going to grab the other products just to give you a little sneaky peek of what I have. I'm so excited. Okay, gonna move this aside. Here's the thing that's kind of cool about Concord and Ninth, which those of you who know their products and love their products, you probably already know this, but they sell their whole bundle. So if there's a release and you think, yes, that's my release, I love this, they always discount it too. Um, but I have this fun stamp set, and this is called Just the Ticket. And that is super fun with all these little tickets. Love that. I have the Sweet Sayings dies, and I was very. I almost did this one today because I just love the love and hugs. And I think, I think this would look really nice over a, uh, over like a whole panel, like do your whole panel and then pop a big greeting on. And yes, Kelly, I do. I, and Greg is good to me, Greg and Lindsay. Lindsay sent me a note the other day and said, we're, we're going to surprise you, but we're going to send you some products. I'm like, yes. Okay. Look at this sweet little set, the potpourri stamp set. Those are just really cute little greetings. Mm, so, so cute. Yeah. Mindy, I think I saw the cards that you had. Um, and they were, they were so fun. Look at this. I think I saw Jennifer do something with this. I mean, that's so cute. I may have to, yeah, I, I have so many things here to play with. I mean, look at this big love quilt top die. And again, you flip it over and it shows you how they come together. Very, very, very fun. And then this matchboxes. Now this, I, I'm gonna have to just take a beat and think about how these come together because how cute would it be to give your Valentine or someone you love matchboxes? And then there's the matches and this, and you can fold them all up. I mean, that is some brilliant interactive 3D design. And we're not done yet. Look at this. This is the perfect match snap set. So this all coordinates together. Oh my gosh, and the flames. Yeah. These, this, this whole thing is gonna go into my inbox um, because I have so many. Oh my gosh, look at that. This is called Just the Ticket Dies. So this works with the stamp set. Mm, it's so cute. And this, which I I think this is so beautiful because look at what it cuts. 
I mean, I would love to like ink blend something beautiful on a panel, cut that whole thing out. I mean, again, I don't always show you every last thing you can do with a product, right? I mean, but this is all, this is like a craft haul and I was very excited. So again, thank you to Concord and Knight. This is my finished card project, but I have all these goodies and they're going to go in my inbox where I keep all of my new stuff. Speaking of that, all right, let's see. Let's see if I can get multiple images of myself here. This is going to be great. We're going to go ready for this. Select all. Ah, hello, Kathy. We're going to get you out and we're going to close you. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Let's let the hair down. Now I can look more, you know, Look at that, look at all that hair. So there we go, <laughs> over here. Uh, that's my finished card project for the day. And I wanted to tell you that I, um, I am preparing to film my studio tour. I wanna share the space. It is not perfect. It, is, it does not have everything organized in the way um, that maybe it could be, but it is functional and it is working for me. So I am going to start filming. I have to wait until I have a little better light. We have been under cloud cover for a couple of days and I'd rather do some of the studio stuff in better light, even though I have my studio lights, which is great. But I am going to, I'm gonna start filming it. I hope to have it ready to share in at least a couple weeks. Um, and I, I'm excited because this is all different for me. I never had Ikea shelves and I never had anything set up all in one place. So it's it's been really fun for me to move into this room. And I, I tell you what, I, I can't look back. Like Dan asked me, do you miss it in the dining room? Like, no, now he's in there making puzzles. I do shoot all of my card projects down there though. Not my lives because my lives, I usually, um, I usually end up shooting them under studio light just because it's the end of the day. But I, I absolutely love being up here. So does anyone have any questions for me before I go? I actually made it an hour and I knew, I knew I, if I keep it, you know, if I keep it really simple, um, yeah, that's just what I like to do. Oh, I love it so much. And yes, Kathleen, you know, it, it, I want it to be not too long, but not too short. And I bought a, uh, I bought a gimbal for my iPhone because my friend Bethany, by the way, if you want to see an amazing craft room tour, check out my friend, Bethany, Bethadilly, um, don't be too jealous. She has an amazing space in her basement and she is the nicest person. She is the nicest person out there. And she has done a bang up job with organizing and getting everything set up. Um, she does a lot of other crafting. Like I would love to even dabble my foot in some of the other crafting she does. It's amazing. But check out Bethadilly, check out her craft room chore. Yeah. Mindy, isn't it crazy? It's so good. But anyway, I said to Bethany, how did you film? You filmed so steady. She's like, Kathy, a gimbal. So I got myself a gimbal that's all electronic and I'm going to use it to film. So wish me luck. Anyway, um, yeah. So if you don't have any other questions, I can, I can go down and think about my dinner. I actually, oh, question. I see one from Mira. Ah, uh, Mira, do I make any crafting, card making, New Year's resolutions? No, I don't. I don't because I am so lucky to work in this industry that whatever comes will come. If something is not going well, then I won't do it. If something is going great, then I'll do it. Um, I don't actually make any resolutions because I have spent uh, in any category, mostly because I think when you do, you can set yourself up to feel bad about yourself and judge all the things that you didn't set out to do. Not that I don't believe in having goals. I have goals. My bigger goals are just, you know, try to be a good person and be kind to people and share goodness. And so that that's my resolution. Um, that's a year in year out thing. Um, I did see a question earlier. Um, yeah, Mindy, a gimbal is just something that keeps something steady, a camera steady. And, um, they're very cool. They're very cool. I had a really crappy one 10 years ago, like horrible. Um, but they've come a long way for iPhone. Um, but I saw someone ask, uh, about why did I move? And I'll talk more about that in my, uh, studio tour, but I just needed a space where I can work unencumbered. It's very hard to have a shared studio space 
when you have a husband who he's a great, great person, love him, good egg, but I don't love sharing space with him. And also my adult son does live at home. He, after college, he's home right now. And it's just too hard to, um, work in a shared space. Also having everything in one space, which includes all of my filming equipment that never has to be taken down, um, lighting scenarios that do not depend on the day because there's no window facing me. This is all just studio lights. Uh, that is a consistency level that I needed as a content creator. And so for that, I am just, I would never change. Uh, I would never change and go back downstairs because yes. And as my friend Mindy knows, she does have a shared space and my, my space was shared for years. Um, and it's just, yeah, this is, I mean, it's a crawfish, right? And also to my right, what you don't see is my main workstation. So I have two computers. One is right in front of me for live streaming and the place where I do my design work and my video editing, all I do is turn and there it is. And that is a whole different uh, thing too. So, and honestly, Susan, this feels like a sanctuary. This space feels like it is for me. And I've worked in the craft industry since 2003. So I feel pretty good about having this and taking it over. Um, I don't, <laughs> Lori, I don't miss the dining room at all. That table, oh, it's the worst. Although I think I have convinced the hubby that we're going to turn it into a nice dining room. I will still be doing my primary photography down there, um, which will be fine. I still store some things down there, but okay. Oh, Kelly Dubeck, what are my tips for someone looking to break into freelance design in my industry? That's a really great question. My, my background is graphic design. So the fact that I got into scrapbooking many, many years ago, I kept convincing them, Hey, I am, I'm a designer. I also design things, but in terms of, you know, freelance design for product, if that, is that what you mean? Because it's kind of a matter of reach out to companies and see if anyone's interested in the designs that you have created. Now, it does help if you know the technical side of it, if you understand that vector art is primarily how we provide to our stamp companies to make the products. Um, but even if you have great designs, uh, you can work with companies who will take your art and turn it into um, a vectorized file formats that get stamps and dies made. So... You just kind of have to reach out to people. I mean, I lucked out because um, I had a connection with um, Heidi Crowell, the owner of Simon, and we reconnected. And so I'm so grateful for that connection. But I'm going to pop this question up from Barbara because um, could I do something new for new card makers in 10 Essentials? I really want to do a beginner series. Um of some kind, right? Because I still feel like I'm so close to when I first started. Now that's five years ago, but I soaked it all in, right? I didn't know. I didn't even know what size a card was supposed to be. The first card I made was like a square that was like three by three. I didn't know, you know, I, and I didn't know a lot of that sort of information. So yes, the goal is to do that. Um, and I know there's a couple other people that we may want to do something like that together. Um, so definitely going to be thinking about that um, because I, I would love to say um, you're new. Start here, you know, because I have some videos that are like five things that you might want or, f you know, five tips that will help you. But that doesn't necessarily help people who are just starting out. So I'm trying I'm trying to wrap my head around that with some of my friends and we'll see because uh, I'd love to have it. So um, yes, but product design, just make some cute things, shop them around. Again, I, I was lucky having the connection that I had and I had started doing some of my own stamps and dies when I realized um, that's just too much. I am not a business person who can do fulfillment as well. And so reaching out to uh, Heidi and saying, hey, remember, remember me? And she's like, I remember you. So very grateful for that. Um, yes. So anyway, I appreciate you all for being here and I will go to my default scene now. See, it's not so bad in here. It's not, you know, it's, it's, it's dark. 
Um, but yeah, it, it, a beginner series will be good. And because I always kind of do the same kinds of things, you know, I don't do a lot of slim line cards. I don't do a lot of five by sevens. I like to stick, you know, I like to stick with this size and, and I always use them. I always use an inner matte layer. Like I love to have a little border. Um, there's, there's just a lot of stuff I would love to create for all of you. And especially to, you know, encourage young people, wait, young people. <laughs> young card makers, new card makers. I just, I want all the seven-year-olds. I want them to follow me. No, um, there are also, I have a ton of videos on my channel. Uh, I started making cards on YouTube in 2017. So you can definitely go back. I mean, it's changed a lot over the years. I do, I kind of do it a little differently now, but you know what? It's, you'll find lots of mistakes along the way. And, uh, and yeah, they'll help you feel, they'll help you feel not so alone. Cause I still don't know what, what I'm doing half the time anyway. Okay. Thank you so much for being here today. I, again, have links to all of the products that I used and they are in the YouTube description box. Sometimes that's below if you're on a computer, if you're on an iPad, sometimes it's over to the side. You kind of got to click. They kind of got to make it, you know. Oh, and Kate, I love 73 year old beginners. That's what I'm talking about. When you are a beginner, doesn't matter how old you are. I like the new card makers to come in and feel welcome and just know we all make mistakes. We figure it out and we have a lot of fun while we're doing it. So thanks for watching everyone. And I'm glad you were here today. I will, I will see you all on the flip side. Got videos to edit for you and I'm going to have the latest. I just spit across the room. Great. I'm going to have the next Simon Says Stamp Kit unboxing is going to premiere on Saturday probably like 11 a.m. noon. Watch for my newsletter. If you don't subscribe, by the way, I have a new newsletter. If you were on it before, you're still on it, but there's a link in the description. Subscribe. It's great. You might get annoyed. It's easy to unsubscribe. It's all good, but I will, uh, yeah, I'll let y'all know more about that. So more good stuff coming. Okay. I'm going to go check my crock pot now. Everyone have a great day. Bye. Thanks so much for watching today. I would love to have you become a subscriber to my YouTube channel. And if you do subscribe, be sure to hit the gray bell below the video so that you don't miss the next time I post. Here are a couple other videos that you might be interested in watching. Thanks so much and have a great day.